Most essential car parts and their functions. An automobile is a substantial piece of art. An average car contains 30,000 different parts. It's challenging to remember or even be aware of the names of the countless automotive parts because there are so many of them. Knowing the names of the various automotive parts is helpful if you're an engineer or just a car owner, which is what most people are. So let's learn the most basic part of a car. 1. Engine The car's engine is its heart. It is by far the most crucial component of any car since, without it, a vehicle cannot move. The components of an engine are blocks, heads, pistons, and valves. Fuel is injected into the engine where it burns in the presence of air to create an air-fuel combination that aids in propulsion. 2. Steering The vehicle's direction can be changed via the steering system. The front wheels should have the propensity to return to the straight-ahead position following a turn and any steering mechanism must be precise and simple to operate. To boost the steering effort supplied by the driver, this system uses a gear mechanism known as steering gear. The driver doesn't have to exert much effort when using this system, which makes maneuvering the car relatively simple. 3. Lubrication System there are several moving parts in an engine and as they rub against one another, they eventually wear out. To avoid the wear causing metal-to-metal -metal contact between these moving parts, the engine circulates oil between them. 4. Cooling System The temperature of the engine parts rises as a result of the combustion of fuel and air inside the cylinder. The performance of the engine and the longevity of the engine parts are directly impacted by this rise in temperature. The cooling system maintains the engine's working temperature. The technology is created to avoid both overheating and overcooling regardless of the driving circumstances. 5. Electrical System A starting motor and all the accessories are powered by the electrical system of the engine. A battery, an alternator, a starting motor, an ignition coil, and a heater make up the bulk of the electrical system. 6. Chassis The frame, suspension, axles and wheels make up the majority of an automobile's chassis. The frame might take the shape of a typical chassis or it might use unit construction. The fundamental skeleton of the vehicle is formed by the frame in a traditional chassis frame. The engine and body of the vehicle are supported by the frame. If you have found this video informative so far, kindly like and subscribe to this channel and let's continue with the video. 7. Powertrain the engine's output is transferred to the wheels of the vehicle by the powertrain. The clutch on manual transmission cars, gearbox, a set of gears that increases the engine's turning effort to propel the car. Drive shaft, differential, and rear axle make up this component. 8. Suspension System The purpose of the suspension system is to dampen vibrations brought on by the up and down motion of the wheels on the uneven road surface. The suspension system of a vehicle is made up of springs, connecting links, and shock absorbers. There are two types of suspension systems, rigid and independent suspension systems. 9. Braking system. To slow down or stop a moving vehicle, brakes are needed. The braking system is crucial for ensuring the safety of road users and pedestrians. You can use hydraulic or mechanical control to operate the braking system. Hydraulic braking systems make up about 95% of all systems in use today. DES, Transmission System. The transmission's primary function is to change the torque that the engine applies to the wheels as needed. By altering the gearing ratio between the driving shaft and the engine output shaft, this is accomplished. A car's gearbox is called a transmission. It is comparable to the bicycle's chain and gear shifter mechanism. These parts are always mounted directly on the engine so that the belt and gear system they are connected to can efficiently convert the engine's combustion power into physical velocity. 11. Catalyst Converter An internal combustion engine's exhaust gas contains poisonous gases and other pollutants that a catalytic converter transforms into less toxic pollutants by accelerating a redox reaction. Typically employed with internal combustion engines powered by gasoline or diesel, including lean burn engines, catalytic converters are also occasionally utilized with kerosene heaters and stoves. 12. Mufflers The rear, or bottom, of your car is where you'll find the mufflers, which are parts of the car exhaust system. 
They help to reduce engine noise and emissions from vehicles. To protect them from the heat and chemicals emitted by the exhaust system, they are built of steel and covered with aluminum. Mufflers are primarily employed to muffle the obnoxious noises that the engine's pistons and valves produce. 13. Tailpipe The exhaust system on your car includes the tailpipe. It is intended to expel exhaust into the air and away from the vehicle, similar to a chimney in a house. Exhaust pipes link to the muffler and are frequently bracketed to the car's back end. They're prone to deterioration from aging, failure of brackets, broken seals, and rear-end collisions. 14. Gas Tank Your car's gasoline tank is normally under the back or in the center of the car. This tank can be filled from the outside through a small hole that is sealed by a gas cap when not in use. The gas then passes through a few further processes before entering the engine. Gasoline is forced into the fuel lines by the pump. Most cars have strong metal fuel lines that carry fuel from the tank to the engine. Fuel gauge. A fuel gauge is a tool that gauges the amount of fuel in the car. It includes detecting or sending equipment that aids in calculating the fuel level. The information from the sensing unit is used to calculate the amount of fuel using a gauge or indication that is mounted outside the fuel tank. The fuel level in your gas tank is shown by the lines on the gas gauge, which are spaced every one per four of a line. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.